there. We would like you to meet Sunji, a lovely grade four girl who wishes to bring peace and joy to the world she lives in. Sunji is a vibrant nine-year-old girl who immigrated to Toronto from Seoul, South Korea, only two months ago. Her native language is Korean. In Korea, Sunji attended a private school in Seoul for grades one to three. Sunji's school life was very busy and tiring because there were so many subjects for her to learn. Due to the strong competition between her classmates, Sunji didn't really enjoy school. Her current favorite subject is language. She is learning English and French at school. She enjoys learning about these languages because they are very different from the languages she speaks at home. Sunji has four members in her family: her dad, mom, older sister, and younger brother. Sunji's dad lives in Korea because he has his business settled there. Only her mom, older sister, and younger brother moved to Toronto. She's very excited that her dad is coming to visit her this summer. Sunji enjoys engaging in hands-on activities. She likes to solve puzzles, math problems, Rubik's cubes, and tangrams in her spare time. She also likes to create houses and robots with Lego. Sunji enjoys various subjects such as math. Language, art, science, and music. Sunji is also a very social and active young girl. She likes making new friends and wants to be a diplomat one day. She hopes to create a positive impact for on the many people of her community in the future. Through observations, conversations, and the picture response task with Sunji, we were able to complete an assessment of Sunji's English language proficiency using the initial assessment document provided by the TTSB. The interview was conducted in English with the assistance of Korean to ensure her understanding. With regard to her proficiency in oral communication, she falls to a step two category for both listening and speaking. Sungji was able to understand simple questions asked in English. She was able to respond to these questions using her L1 and simple phrases in English and follow simple instructions. For example, on the picture response task, Sungji was asked questions such as, "Who do you see in the picture? Where are they going? What are they doing? What color are these objects? What else do you see in the picture? Why are they here?" She was able to respond to simple questions that answered who or what. However, when asked a question that involved why, Sunji often had a difficult time to understand. The question had to be reiterated either using a visual cue or her L one.